Hey everybody, it's Tom, WA2IVD. I've received a number of questions about scanning with the ICOM radios over the years, and I thought it would be a good time to put something together for that. We're going to take a look at scanning with the IC705 today. It's got quite a few features. It has a couple of quirks that are, eh, for me, a little bit annoying, but for the most part, it's a very capable radio for doing scanning. Let's take a look. In order to show you the scanning features, I've got some memories pre-programmed here. So I've got group 20 and channels 0 up through 6. And you'll notice on channel 4, this is the weather station at a local airport that gives the weather advisories. And station 5, this is a NOAA weather channel that's near us. So those provide constant signals, and we'll see how those can be used when we're demonstrating some of the scanning functions. So I'm just going to set this back to channel 0. To access the scanning features on the 705, we're going to press the menu button. And on the first page, there is scan with a little pair of binoculars. So we're going to touch scan, and then we get this scan menu. Now it tells us that this is memory scan. Let me turn him down a little bit. You get a slightly different menu depending on whether the radio is in memory mode or in VFO mode. So in memory mode you have memo, short for memory scan, delta F select, delta F span, and then set. Let's exit this. We'll switch the radio over to VFO mode. And if I do menu and scan now, it says program, and then we get program here. And then delta F, delta F span, and set remain the same, but program and fine are the two things that change. So the first and third soft keys change if you're in program mode. Let's go back to memory mode here, and we'll start with memory mode scanning. So we'll push scan. And if I just briefly press memo, that will start a memory mode scan, and it'll start the most recent memory mode scanning option that we picked. There are multiple options. We'll look at that in just a minute here. So if I just touch memo, it starts scanning, and it says group scan, which is what I have chosen. You'll notice that's flashing, and you'll notice the decimal points flashing. And you see it stopped on the airport weather station. And it's going to pause here for like six seconds. And then it goes to the weather channel, the NOAA weather channel. And it's going to pause there. And then it keeps going. Now here's a, an aircraft. So it's pausing on each of those and then keeps going. But these two are constantly on. And I really don't want to listen to those each time it goes through the scan. So one of the first things that you can do with the scan, or the first things that I'm going to show you, if we press the quick button here, and I hit temporary skip, actually let me show you where that is. It's on the second page down in the quick menu. And if I touch that, it says this will be skipped for five minutes. I'll put that up on the screen a little longer so you can see it. And then now we're going to let it get to the NOAA weather channel. I'm going to hit that again and hit temporary skip again. And it says that one will be skipped for five minutes. So now it is skipping those two channels. It's only going to skip them for five minutes. There are options in the settings to change that, and we'll look at that a little bit later. But now we're just scanning activity as it comes up. And as you notice, when a transmission stops, it waits for a couple seconds before it starts resuming the scan. And that's if you want to listen to the follow-up. If somebody's talking, presumably somebody else will talk back to them, particularly if it's an aircraft or public service band that you're scanning. So that's group scan. Now I'm going to touch this again to stop it. And one of the things you'll notice, let me just start that back up. If I start it back up, it's no longer skipping 
the weather channels. It's going right back to those. So that five minute temporary skip is only while you're scanning. If you stop the scan and then start it again, those skips are canceled the way it's currently set. Again, we'll look at that in a minute. I said there are multiple modes for the scanning. If you press and hold memo, it brings up a menu that shows you different modes that you can scan in. The very first one is all memory scan. This will scan all memories in all groups. I was in a group scan, so I was only scanning a particular group. Then we have select memory scan one, two, three, and then select memory scan one, two, and three. We'll talk about the select memory scans uh, in a few minutes. Let me go through the rest of these. Mode select scan, this scans the current mode that the radio is in. So if you're in AM, it'll only scan memories that have AM settings. If, you have, if you're in FM, it'll only scan FM. So if you wanted to, for example, if you have a bunch of simplex and repeater frequencies on 2 meters and 440 scattered across all your memories, if you do mode select, actually let's do that. Let me put this in FM, even though this memory wouldn't normally be in FM. If I do memo and I go up here to mode select scan and I tap that, it's only going to scan channels that are FM. Let's do a temporary skip on that. And if you notice up here, the bank is changing or the group is changing. So it's scanning across all of my memories, anything that's got FM in it. And of course, that's mostly 2 meter and 440 repeaters. And then the rest of the functions in terms of delaying and pausing are the same. Let's stop that. If I press and hold this again, we'll go down. If we keep going down, you'll notice it's got O1 and AZ trip. My group one in this radio I had set to some frequencies I was using on a recent trip to Arizona. So that's in group one. Group two, I have some different things programmed. And then group 20, which I named scanner for this demonstration, is I've also got memories. I do not have any other groups that have uh, channels programmed right now. If I did, this would continue down with each group where I had memories programmed. And if you select any of these, it will scan just that group. That, that was the group scan that you saw when we first started. Those are the different options. Now, let's look at the memory select. Actually, check that. Let's go back and I'm going to show you how that temporary skip works. So when we skipped the channel, and let's see mode select. So we're still in mode select scan. This is FM because it's the NOAA weather and again that temporary skip that I did expired because I got out of scan mode and back in. So that would stop for five minutes or if you get out of scan mode. If you want to change that behavior we'll go over here to the set button and this is the settings for the scanner. So first we have scan speed. Right now it's on slow. Your options are slow and fast. Fast is I think on the order of five or ten channels a second. It's pretty fast and slow is maybe a couple channels per second, two or three. There's no settings for how fast each of those are. You just have slow and fast. And I'm going to skip past some of these other settings for the moment and we're going to look at this temporary skip timer. And you can see it's currently set for five minutes. So if I touch that, you can have, five minutes is the shortest option. You can have it 10 or 15 or while scanning. If you set it to while scanning, if I skip a memory channel, as long as the scan is running, it will stay, it will skip it for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour, however long you're scanning, it will skip it once you've told it to skip a channel. And then there's one more setting, which is while powered on. As you would guess, while powered on, if I skip it, it's going to stay skipped until I turn the radio off. Whether I go in and out of scanning, if I come back two hours later and start scanning again, it's still going to skip that channel. There is no option to skip a channel 
permanently. That's a little inconvenient if you have channels programmed with something that you really don't ever want to be on a scan. There's not any way to really designate that. There is a little bit of a workaround that kind of gets past that that I'll show you in a moment. Let's go back up and just look at a couple other settings though first. Scan resume is set to on. The choices are only off and on. What scan resume on means is that if it stops on a channel where there is activity, once the activity is done, it will continue scanning. If you set this to off, the first time it stops on any channel, the scan is done, and it will just stay on that channel until you start scanning again manually. If this is set to on, these next two timers come into effect. The first channel is the, uh, sorry, the first setting here is the pause timer. That's currently set to six seconds. You can set it as short as two seconds or uh, all the way out to 20 seconds or hold. What this setting does is this determines how long the radio will stay on an active channel. So if there's, a, if there's activity, like those weather stations, it will stay on there for this number of seconds, and if the activity doesn't go away, it'll resume scanning, even though there's still a signal there. And then if you set this to hold, then it will stay on the channel as long as the activity is there until the activity goes away. But once the activity goes away, or this timer times out, then it'll resume scanning. The next one is this resume timer, and that's set to two seconds. Two seconds is the default, by the way. You can set it to zero or all the way out to hold. Not really sure why they have hold in here, because hold is kind of the same as turning resume off. What this timer is for is when the activity on a channel goes away, you can have it stay paused on that channel for some amount of time, two seconds in this case, to wait to see if somebody else comes back to the person. So if the car carrier goes away, like an aircraft's calling a tower, it will wait for two seconds to see if maybe the tower responds before it resumes scanning. And then if a signal shows up before this two seconds is up, then it, again it'll stay there until the pause timer times out. So I'm going to set the pause timer back to 10. So that's what those two timers do. We've already covered the temporary skip timer. Main dial operation, whoops, I pushed the wrong one here. You have off and up down. Off, the main dial, does not have any effect on the scanning at all. So if you're, in, if you're scanning, the main dial is ignored. If you set it to up down, which is the default, then what it will do is it just changes the direction of the scan. So if I set this to scan, um, it's scanning up in memory channels. This makes more sense in program scan. Oh, let me, uh, let's skip him again so that we can see what's going on. So it scans either up or down. And again, with memory channels, this really doesn't matter too much. What you're in program scan, if you're just scanning across frequencies, if you turn the dial up, it'll start scanning upward. And if you turn it down, it will start scanning downward. So it'll, you can change the direction that it's scanning. Let's go back into set. And then program edge scan, this is for the program scanning. And we'll cover that in a minute when we go to program scan. The one scan feature that shows up either in program or memory is this delta F. Delta F is just delta frequency. We're on 446.100. There's delta F span, and if I press that, you can change the span. You'll notice that is in the display here. It says span plus or minus 5 kilohertz. You can go anywhere from f plus or minus 5 all the way to plus or minus 1 megahertz. And then if I press delta F, it's just going to scan from whatever frequency is on here. So in memory mode, it'll be whatever memory channel you're on. It'll just start scanning up 1 megahertz, and when it gets to 1 megahertz up, it'll wrap around and start 1 megahertz below, and it'll just keep scanning around that frequency 
So this is just like a program scan basically, but it scans essentially a range of frequencies around whatever frequency you started on. If you stop it, it just ends up wherever it was. This has not changed what's programmed in the memory. It, it's not what was originally programmed, but if I just change off the memory and go back to it, it'll go back to what that memory should be. So we started on memory 2, 446, 100. You can see that hasn't changed. But that'll stay in the display. If you start this scan and stop it, it'll stay wherever it was. So you need to just flip to a different channel and back to get the memory that you had. Now, let's take a look at this select. And let me change my group back to 20, because you notice I was in that mode scan. When I'm in mode scan, wherever you stop it, if it's in a different group, it's going to just stay on that group. So I'm going back to my group 20 here. And uh, I really don't want to scan this weather station or the NOAA weather station. And there's no way for me to skip those permanently. But if I use this select key, and this soft key for select actually is available in the memory menu as well. You'll see the select button here. They both, they do the same thing whether you're in the scan function or in the memory function. If I touch select, you notice a little star one showed up up in the below the memory there. If I touch it again, you'll notice that that changed to star two. And if I touch it again, it changed to star three. And then finally, if I touch it one more time, the little star went away. So you can designate a channel as a select channel, and you have three selects, one, two, and three. And so let me just pick a couple of these. Uh, let me make channel one, star one. Let me make memory channel two a star one. So now that I've set those to select star one, if I press and hold the memo, if I go back up here to these select memory scans, if I say select memory scan star one and touch that, now it is scanning any memory channel in here that has been selected as a star one. And you'll notice that the group when it starts, when it resumes here, you'll notice that the group is changing between 20 and I think one, because I had a couple other memory channels in there. So the select memory scan, there's no way to confine that to just one group. It's select, selected memories across all your groups. But this is the workaround that I was talking about for if you want to bypass a memory channel, the one thing that you can do, so let me stop this, in this bank, if I select memory zero, one and two are already selected, and then if I select three, and I'm not going to select this one, I'm not going to select this one, but I am going to select this one, so those are star one. And actually, I know I don't have anything set to star three, so let me go back and fix these. We're going to make that a star three. Let me go all the way back to zero. We're going to make that a star three, that a star three, that a star three, that a star three. Okay, and that's everything in this bank or this, yeah, uh, group. So now if I press and hold memory, and I do select memory star three, it's going to scan only the, of course there's more activity than I want here. It's scanning only the star threes, which is only this group. So it's a little bit of a kludge, but it does give you a nice workaround. So now it's not going to scan those two weather channels that I had programmed. So I've kind of effectively permanently skipped those two channels by only scanning a select group. But So that's the select. So that's kind of a way that you can pick certain memory channels you want to use for scanning and not others without having to do the temporary skip. And again, unfortunately, there's no way to have the select scan scan just a single group. It's across all your memories. Let's get out of this and 
Oops, like let's get back into it and stop the scan. Then we'll get out of this. Let's go into VFO mode. Let's go to like 20 meters here. And now let's look at the program scan. So if I press menu and scan, we get the same menu except now we're in program scanning. And looks like we got a maybe a contest or something going on. I haven't even not paid any attention to what's on 20 meters right now, but let's get down here where it's a little quieter. I'm going to turn the squelch up a little bit so we're only going to get something relatively strong. For program scan, if I press and hold that, if just like memory scan, if I just touch it, it's going to go to whatever I most recently had. And actually you'll see here is program set 1, which is a 2 meter range, so from 144 to 148. Let's show you that. So if I just touch this, it just went off 20 meters, it went up to two meters and it's scanning two meters right now. And it'll scan until it finds something. If I stop that, you'll notice there's a little recall button here and that shows the frequency I was on when I started that program scan. If I press and hold this, it'll take me back to there, but it doesn't change the mode back. And I'll show you about changing modes with the program scan. You can set the program scans up to change modes or not. Honestly, program scanning for sideband, I don't really find terribly useful, and I'll kind of show you why here. But So let's go into the settings and show you how to set those up. And program scan edge was the last option that we didn't look at. If I touch that, it shows you the different program scan edges. And as you can see, we've got, there's 24. So you can set up 24 different ranges to scan. And you can give them names, and you can specify modes and or filters for the scan. So let's look at the 20 meter one here. So you can give it a name. I called this one 20 meters, and it's scanning basically the general sideband portion of 20 meters. And if you notice here for mode, it's just dashes. If I press and hold, oh, sorry, I've got to edit it. So now, if I go down here and I press mode, dashes means that when I start that scan, it's going to just start it in whatever mode the radio is already in. If you want, you can tell the radio to go into a particular mode, and all the different mode options are available here. So if I want to scan upper sideband or CW or whatever, you can do that. But if you leave it dashes, it'll just start the scan in whatever mode the radio is already in. Same with filter, you can pick your filters, one, two, or three, or you can have it be whatever filter the radio is already set to. So if I, yes, we'll cancel the edit, we'll leave that alone. So if I go back out, and if I do program scan, and I pick the 20 meter one, now it's scanning in 20 meters. And there's a couple different ways it behaves. So now it just stopped. Let me turn the volume up a little here. Of course, when it's scanning on sideband, it's going to stop when it has a signal that it hears, but it's not going to have it. So there. So I'm going to suggest if you're doing program scanning, you probably want to set scan resume to off because if you're scanning usually across the HF bands, you're probably scanning to see if there's any activity and maybe you don't want to sit here and stare at your display and you're trying to do some other things. You can tell it to scan across the band. Actually, let me see if we can find a band that maybe, well, 10 meters is busy. Um, Maybe six meters. Not much going on on six meters right now. Maybe you wanted to scan across six meters and see if there was a band opening. You could just have it continuously scan and stop when it hears something. For the sake of being able to demonstrate some frequencies, let's go back down here, or 
some, sorry, to demonstrate some features, let's go back down on 20. So the squelch is open right now. If I start a program scan, you notice it's not stopping at all. So if you start the scan with the squelch open, it's not going to, it's not going to stop when it hears a signal, it's just going to scan continuously. So let me find a clear spot. We'll turn the squelch up a little bit. And now if I scan, it will stop when it hits a signal. And then I can just start it back up again. And again, when it stops, it's just going to stop on signal strength. So it's very unlikely that the signal is going to be tuned in where you're going to be able to hear it. So that's the program scan. For sideband, again, probably not as useful, uh, except for maybe finding activity on the band. But 2 meters, 440, or even 6 meter or 10 meter FM, if you're doing that. FM scanning, of course, is going to be much more predictable. It's going to be much more likely to stop right on the correct frequency, or at least pretty close to it. That's the program scan. And then fine just reduces the step size, so it scans effectively at a slower rate. It's scanning at the same scan speed, but it's covering a much smaller frequency, so that's all fine does. And again, you still have the delta F and delta F span here in the program scanning mode, and these work exactly the same way they did on... Oh, there we go. We found noise on two meters. I'm sure that's some piece of electronic gear somewhere nearby. And I think that about covers it for scanning. Those are your scan menus, your scan settings, it's a pretty full-featured scanner. A couple of little quirks that I'm not crazy about. I wish there was a way to, in the memory channel to program a memory to just not be on the scan list, but there's a couple of workarounds with the select. And, of course, you can temporarily skip a channel, that, which that's a very nice feature, actually. If there's a, scan, a channel that you normally want to scan, but maybe it's a repeater and a couple of guys are talking and you want to just skip it for five minutes, that's actually kind of a nice feature for that. So there you have it, scanning on the IC705. Well, there's a quick introduction to scanning with the IC705. I hope some of you found that helpful. If you found the video helpful, I'd appreciate a click on that like button. If you find the channel helpful, please consider subscribing and also click on that bell icon so you'll get notified when new videos come out. You can also find links to the channel website, the store, and the Amazon store in the description. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Radio A to Z.